right, Orlando City. By the way, uh, get involved in the conversation. Please get involved in the chat. We'll answer some of your questions a little bit later. Like, subscribe, tell everyone about BetUS TV and the great soccer content provided, including a breakdown of Orlando City and Chicago Fire. Orlando grinded out a 2-2 draw against 10 men Charlotte. Scott Arfield was sent off in about the 38th minute and Orlando still couldn't come away for the vic- with the victory. Quick turnaround for them. They're still favored at minus 135. I guess the Chicago Fireside that's got a little bit of rhythm. Haven't lost in their last four games. Coming off a big 4-1 win over Toronto FC. But much like, uh, much like a previous opponent, I mean, they didn't play midweek. Like, they are going to be well-rested, not having played uh, since Saturday. Orlando coming in to this one on short rest. You and I both, I believe, have a similar or the same play on this one. Uh, Take it away, Bob. Okay, so here you have Orlando with the worst home advantage in Major League Soccer. One, three, and five home record in nine matches, scoring seven and allowing 12. Their last home win was a 2 nothing win against uh, Austin March 23rd. That was three months ago. Orlando hasn't even scored in three of their last four home matches, and that kind of adds to them being the most unpredictable team in Major League Soccer. Uh, Chicago Fire, on the other hand, are, again, you you said it, in good form. Two straight wins following two straight draws. They killed Toronto 4-1 last night, uh, and I I assume the reason you you picked this bet today is because you saw, uh, you know, the kind of of form that uh, they were in there. Um, Shakira left for international break, and this team has gotten better, better, better. Uh, Kuiper's getting better service. Um, scoring in his last three matches straight. And uh, he's not going to be shooting on Pedro Galese in this matchup. So I think Chicago is, has has a lot of things going for them. I don't want to root for Chicago. So I'm taking the Chicago plus 0.5 at plus 114. Orlando's done nothing at home to prove that they should be even money to win or to draw a loss. So, uh, you know, the number just doesn't really make sense for me. And that's why I had to take it. I don't like it. I don't want to have to rely on Chicago, but I will take the, uh, the, the double chance at plus 114. Yeah, I, thanks, Foxy, for the, for the message. They were fortunate. Charlotte's still in that game, 1.9 XG, and they actually went up 2-1 a man down in that game. Uh, I love the Luis Muriel love on this show. I mean, <laughs> he just hasn't. Uh, Duncan McGuire scored for Orlando. Uh, we all know I, Orlando just isn't a very good team. I just, unless something changes, good players, not a good team. They've already played to a 1-1 draw against the fire this season. That's when Chicago wasn't playing well. Now they're playing well. And I don't think. They're not playing well. I I agree with that completely. Did we lose Gareth? Euros and Shakiri is at least good for a goal in every international tournament. That is a bet that you need to make. I mean, I, I, Shakiri might not be in the next team for the next World Cup, but if he is, you bet on a Shakiri goal <laughs> in that tournament and you'll be rewarded. The thing is, for Chicago Fire, he wants to go back to Europe. He doesn't work. He doesn't play. And now Frank Klopas can play an actual system. And there's some decent players. Hugo uh, Kuypers, you mentioned him, scored yeah. in three straight. He's a really good striker. Brian Gutierrez, a really good Fantastic. young player. Kellen Acosta accomplished as any midfielder in all of Major League Soccer. So I think Chicago sorted out some of their problems. The fact they've got a little bit of healthy, a little bit more healthy, and Shakiri's away. Uh, two wins in a row, unbeaten in four. Like I said, with some good players emerging, I'm going to back Chicago. Uh, unless the line is moved, I'm backing them at plus uh, three quarters of a goal. So at plus uh, 0.75 at minus 115 so taking a little bit of extra juice with the insurance if they lose this game by a goal it's only a half loss there so similar play for all the reasons that bob documented both backing chicago chicago might be a cheeky little team now to ride with a little I, bit if they're, they're not gonna getting win games like, you don't expect them to win and they're gonna lose games you don't expect them to lose it's gonna be weird but uh hey that that volatility is what we got to look at in matches like this right yeah, Orlando's being consistently bad and Chicago's fire, uh, you know, showing some signs of life. You can't start a fire without a spark, ladies and gentlemen. The great Bruce Springsteen said that once, and I think that that spark has emerged. So let's go Chicago this weekend.